What's up people? In this video, we're going to take a look at the Zender external battery charger. What's up guys? So we're going to take a look at a product from a company named Zender. You can find them on Amazon. They got a few products on there and after checking out Amazon it looks like they got pretty good reviews. Um, one of the products they specialize in is power banks and they end up sending me this power bank which is the A3TC. It's their third gen which uh, this one has a type C input and output. Now this power bank is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. Now you can purchase this power bank in two finishes. One is silver and one is black. On Amazon, this particular model power bank has four and a half out of five stars out of, and it has 666 reviews. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. On the front here, states the model number. On the bottom, it states the output and input, which is for the Type C, is 5 volts at 3 amps. Um, it states that the batteries they use are premium and that one of their trademarks is that their power banks are extremely durable. On the back, it shows the compatible devices. The box also has this nice little flip door allows you to see the product. Now let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. As you can see, packaging is really nice. And there's the power bank. Along with the power bank, you also get a Type C connector for charging it and also to charge any of your devices that have a Type C input. And also, they give you a nice carrying case to protect your product. And instructions. For those of you that are wondering what type C input is, um, it's a fairly new input. I don't know if you guys can see that. but it's, it's an oval input. And it's an input that a lot of companies are switching over to. It's supposed to be, uh, allow you for a faster charge and allow you to transfer data a little bit faster. Now even if you don't have anything that takes a type C input, you still can use your standard Android plug or your Apple plug. Um, what's going to allow the benefit of this power bank is when you charge it through the type C, it's going to charge a little bit faster. Um, I think it takes four hours to fully charge and uh, you can monitor the charging by the lights right there. Also, the lights are going to indicate how much charge is left in the power bank. 
Obviously four blue lights is fully charged. Two lights would be 50%. One light would be 25%. If you do have a product that uses the type C input for charging, you're gonna be charging at three amps. If you're just using your older Android or iPhone lightning plug, you're gonna be charging at an output of 2.4 volts, which is still considered fast charging. So you'll be able to um, plug your phone into this and get it charged pretty fast for those emergencies. Another cool thing about this portable charger is you can charge this and it will maintain its charge for six months. Um, as long as nothing's plugged into it, draining it or anything, you can charge this, put it on the shelf for six months, and it's going to hold its charge. Now, as you can see, Zender went with a little bit of a different type style case. And the reason for that is because one of the things they're known for is their cases supposedly crush proof, um, which it does feel extremely strong. Um, these ridges are supposed to add strength to the body of the charger. And then this rubber around the edges here is supposed to aid in uh, vibration and making it shockproof for drops and stuff like that. Now just for a size comparison, I have my Galaxy 7 here. And as you can see, the Galaxy is a lot bigger. So this... Real easy to put in your pocket, carry around. Um, it's not nearly the size of the phone. Now, I did go through and do a test on this charger, and I got a little over two full charges on my Galaxy 7, which isn't too bad for the 10,000 milliamp battery that's in this. Another size comparison is I have this RAV Power power bank. Um, this one is 16,000 milliamps, and that's it next to that. So as you can see, it's a lot bigger in size. A little bit more portable. And also, you definitely can tell the difference between the build quality of this and the build quality of this. Just with this in the hands, I can actually flex the casing. Um, I would be worried if I drop this. Where this it feels like I could drop it and nothing would happen to it. Now, Zender does offer an 18-month warranty if you have any problems uh, with the function of it or any defects. Um, and I have read that the customer service is really good. Alright guys, so I'm going to do a demonstration for you of the phone plugged in. I got my regular Android cable. My phone's currently at 53%. Plug it in. Blue lights are on. And the phone says it's got one hour and 39 minutes bef before fully charged. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my RAV power, power bank. I'm going to plug it into that. Use the 2.4 amp output. And the RAV says one hour and 38 minutes until fully charged. So they're both on point, both fast charging. I've used this power bank for the last week, charging uh, multiple electronics for my phone, um, iPads, and I didn't have any problems with it. It ran flawlessly. So I definitely would say that this is a good buy. Um, in my opinion, one of the selling points of this is the fact that it's so durable. Before I end this video, 
there's one thing I got to do. Zender has a claim that you can run over their products with a sedan. I got to do it for this to be a full review, right? So let's go run this over. All right, guys, it's late. We're outside, but I got to finish this review. And the last part of this review is seeing if the car can run this over without it breaking. So I got my truck I could use, but I think that's uh, pushing it a little bit too much. So the next best thing is I got my girlfriend's Ford Focus. So uh, I'm going to put it underneath the back tire here. And uh, we're going to see if it survives. All right, guys, let's take a look at it. It's got some uh, scratches on the back side. But it uh, looks like it held up. Looks like it held up. It didn't crack or anything. Let's see if it lights up. Still lights up. It's a little bit of blemishes on the back here. Other than that. perfectly fine so I guess uh, Zender wasn't lying their uh, power banks can take a car running over them so there you go guys found this video helpful hit that like button if you want more content like this don't forget to subscribe Talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.